Hello and welcome to my tutorial on smoking a sausage fatty. Okay, first I got the uh, sausage one pound in a bowl. I'm putting a little bit of uh, parsley. I think that's a little bit of uh, sage. Here is some basil and a whole bunch of red pepper like or red pepper powder. All right, now uh, what we did there as you just seen real quick is I got the meat I got the sausage all mixed together and got it flattened down on a piece of aluminum foil. And I got my cheese on there, which is a little bit of mozzarella and a little bit of uh, taco cheese. And I put some uh, mushrooms on there. And right now I'm laying across uh, some uh, salami. Um, I don't, I don't put too much on this because uh, I don't. I'm I'm not a big taker of putting a lot of cheese. But uh, as you see, I put a little bit of uh, mustard. And I'm doing a little bit of salt and pepper here. Now, uh, here comes the difficult part, at least for some people. Um, I am interlacing the uh, bacon. And if you're like me, you buy the cheap bacon, which is I bought the cheap bacon for this tutorial because it's just too damn expensive. So it's pretty fatty. So uh, what I'm doing is here, you want to go over, under, and then you'll reverse to your next piece so you'll want to do a piece vertical, then you want to do a piece horizontal, then a piece vertical, then a piece horizontal. And that'll give you your weave, as you can see right there. But uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep the video of the whole thing of the weave because it just really take too much too long. So basically I got it weaved. I had the uh, sausage rolled up. And as you can see, I just start, I use the aluminum pole. I left this part in to show you. I use the aluminum pole to help uh, get it all rolled together it doesn't take too long just practice and I'll tell you one thing if you don't want to have all these problems use the better bacon that's not real fatty because this the cheaper bacon with the fat like this is just horrible but uh, here it is I put it in the uh, smoker and uh, I have two thermometers one is actually in the fatty and the other is as you can see in this picture is laying across the rail so I can see the exact temperature of what it is right next to the fatty. Um, as you can see I'm using apple wood. I got a great smoke going. Oh and you put use make sure you use toothpicks in it to hold the bacon. If not it'll fly all over the place while it's cooking in the smoker. As you can see the uh, fat that renders down onto the wood actually makes the smoke coming out smell really good and it also puts a little bit more flavor back into the fatty. This was probably at about an hour or so into the smoke as you can see it'll start browning a little bit maybe an hour and a half I didn't really keep track of time so I don't really know an exact time on it as you can see I got the I got the wood going and smoking real well you got the moisture you got the steam from the water which I use uh, salt and pepper and a little bit of uh, red uh, red pepper and it that just helps with the steam too but uh, here it is, I think, this is at, right here, it is at, at two and a half hours. And as you can see, it's starting to brown real nice. There's an overhead shot of it. I tried to get as many shots of it in different uh, directions as possible so you could really see what it's looking like while it's cooking. And uh, here it is right before I take it out. As you can see, I use a, a backup thermometer just to make sure that the temperatures are right because you never know when when, you, when your digital thermometers are going to, batteries are going to be low or they're not going to read right. So I use a manual thermometer just in case. Um, as you see, 177, it was reading about 172, 174 on the uh, metal thermometer. But here it is before I take it out. I just wanted to get some shots of it so you could see. Man, that looks delicious. And let me tell you, it was delicious. And if you noticed in the beginning of the video, I didn't put a whole lot of cheese on it. Because if you do, as you can see in here, the cheese oozing out. You'll have a cheesy mess if you use a 
lot of cheese in it. I'm just warning you, and to me, I, I don't like all that cheese in it. So that's the reason why I just use just, just a little bit of cheese. There's from under the undersized. You can see all the fat that's rendered off of it. And I'm telling you, that it, it, they'll shrink quite a bit because the fat on these things, especially that bacon, is horrible. But a good thing about using something with a little bit of fat in it is it drips onto your uh, your wood and it just it gives it a good flavor. And as you see here, this is after it was cut. I waited probably about, I, I wrapped in aluminum foil for about 20 minutes. And uh, as you can see, it, it looks as good. It tastes as good as it looks, and I made a little anti pasta and have some peaches on there. I like peaches, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy to roll fatty and smoke it up. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in my next video tutorial, which I think I am going to do either a whole brisket or I'm going to do a Boston butt roast. But tomorrow, no, I take that back. Tomorrow I am going to do wings.